Hey everyone, it's Janelle from the Yarn Necklaces channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple mask holder. And this is something you can wear around your neck when you're not wearing your mask. And I also have another way I can show you where you can put your name on it, where you're using alphabet beads. And I even put a cute little charm on the other side. So for the first one, you're just going to need about 20 to 25 inches of chain. I'm using this cute little heart chain and two jump rings and two lobster clasps. And then the tools you'll need are a wire cutters and two pliers and a ruler or something to measure with. So let's start out measuring our chain. I'm going to do 25 inches, which is an adult size. Let's measure that out. And then use your wire cutters where the 25 inches is. And sometimes this chain can be tricky to cut. So sometimes you need to use your regular pliers just to like pull it apart. Got it. And now that you have your chain cut, you want to take one of your jump rings and open it up and then string it through your chain on one end. And I'm using like very tiny jump rings because you're going to need something that'll go through your chain. Then you're going to take your lobster clasp and thread that through and then close it back up with your other pliers. And then just do the same thing on the other side. Then you're ready to clip it on your mask. So take your mask and then take one of your lobster clasp and just clip it on one of your loops on the mask and then clip the other one on the other side and you're ready to go. You can wear this around your neck when you're not wearing your mask. If you want to do the mask with the name on it, then you're going to just take a simple chain like this where you can string the beads over. These beads have like thicker holes so you, you can string the chain through. And I actually bought these at Dollar Tree. So they're only a dollar for 325 pieces. So a pretty good deal. I love Dollar Tree. So take your chain and this one I'm gonna measure out another 25 inches again. And then I'm gonna cut it where my 25 inches is. So take your wire cutters and just cut it where that, cut the link where that 25 inches is. And sometimes you gotta use that, that pliers to get it out. Okay. Then what you wanna do is measure out how long your name is. So my name goes to about one and five eighths or so, and then you want to add on about one fourth of an inch. So I'm going to go to about one and seven eighths. So I'm going to measure my chain, measure to about one and seven eighths, which is about right here. And then I'm going to cut it right there. Sometimes you can like wiggle it and it'll open up for you. Yeah, there we go. And then you can just discard that little piece that's on there. So now you have two pieces of chain. You have your 25 inches that was cut and then you have that little piece right here. So what you're gonna do is take your, your long piece here and take one of your jump rings and string your jump ring on either end of your long chain. I'm using like the smallest jump rings and they're hard to get in. There we go. And then you also want to take your short piece of chain and then string that on. 
and then close your jump ring up. Then you're just going to string on your beads here onto the short part, and then this jump ring will stop them from sliding down. So I usually just take my bead and then just let the chain fall through it and thread it on. And if you want to do this faster, take two beads. And the last one. Then what you want to do is take your other jump ring, grab that here, and then just slide it onto the end of that chain. Then you're going to take one of your lobster clasps and just put that on the jump ring also and close it up. And then just put the jump ring on the other side over here. And your lobster clasp. And now you have your mask chain. And then you can also put a little charm here if you'd like. Just grab a little charm and a jump ring and then put it onto the other side over here. Usually just get it, slide it onto that jump ring there and close it back up. And then let me turn it around the correct way so you can read it. And there it is. And then you can put it on your mask just the same way using these lobster clasps here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Tell me which, which mask chain you like better. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.